Hey, this is Greg Peckman with Hancock Mortgage. Got a quick tip here uh, today, and this is this is kind of reason why we always uh, talk to our underwriters, just to um, you know, kind of be up on guidelines and and different ways to make deals work and so forth. And there's so many different ways to to make deals work and and guidelines changing. It's impossible to know it all the time and know all of it. Um, especially in this marketplace. What you're always trying to do is help your client get an advantage, help them try to get a little bit of an edge over somebody else and trying to get a uh, deal closed and, and so forth. So one of the, the ways to do that, and this happens a lot when people start getting to a certain age and they, they, they purchase a house, but their income has dropped way down or, or don't have enough income to qualify. It's called asset depletion, okay? So let's say they have a lot of money in checking accounts. And this is not the same as the systematic withdrawal. Systematic withdrawal is taking retirement, showing that money into your account, and then and then using that income uh, to, to qualify. This is a little bit different, okay? And this can be an investment prop. I mean, this could be a checking account, savings account. It could be a stock account, something like that. All right, so the first thing that we have to do, okay, to, to set this up is basically, you know, to make sure that they have enough funds. So what you have to do is at least 20% down on a primary or second home, 20% down. That's the first thing. Second caveat to it is that they have to be at least 62 years old, okay? And then what you have to do is, let's say they're, they're buying a house and, and the total into it with closing costs and 20% down, which is called $100,000 as an example. So you take off $100,000 off the assets that they have right now. So let's say they take, uh, let's say they have $300,000 in the bank. All right, so now we're taking off 100,000 and now we have, we're stuck with $200,000 left, okay? So what we have to do is divide that by 240 months, okay? And that's what we can use for them to qualify, okay? This is a guideline a lot of people don't use, okay? But you have to go with, with Freddie Mac on this, not Fannie. But Freddie Mac is the one that accepts this. So what you're gonna do is take the assets and your checking accounts, savings accounts, anything else, and divide that by 240 months, and that's what you use to qualify for a house. Uh, it's a great tool to use, people who are buying second homes, people who are retiring, uh, let's say people don't have enough, um, let's say they don't have a you know job lined up or something else like that, you can use the asset depletion. But you gotta remember, they have to be 62 years old, okay? And you have to go with Freddie on this. Um, and then you have to divide that after deposit, 20%, it's gotta be 20% down, 20% down, uh, closing costs, you take that out of the assets, and then the remaining balance, you divide it by 240 months, and then that's how you can use that uh, to qualify for a mortgage, okay? Hopefully that makes sense. If you got any questions, comment down below, shoot me a private message, or text me at 423-262-9229. I'd love to help you. Have a great, great Thursday. Talk to you soon.